Hey, what's going on, y'all? It's your boy KJ5 to the two. You're listening to Yo, Radio, man. Your boy Fisu. And I just came by and encouraged my brother Dre SA with M Radio and whatever the fuck is going on. Let's get fans and this your boy DM. And you listening to SA from Death to Self Records on Ant Radio. Check it out. Cuffin' in the blood while he hung cause he tripped the red. While he was in the garden. What up? It's your boy, Bishop Chase, man. You know, just wanted to leave a shout out to my man, SA. Man, you doing big things, man. Keep repping Christ. You know, keep doing what you're doing. I love what you're doing, man. Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Young Town. Girl, LS. Fresh name. I just want to encourage y'all to be checking out Empty Radio, one of the hottest radio shows on the web right now for your music to be played, as well as other music to be played, as well as your music, and stuff like that. Hey, you listening to Amp Radio. You know what I mean? Just keep doing what you do, man. Got moves. All right, bro. One love. Keep it locked right here. What's going on? What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, S.A. What do you say? We're on episode number 13 of Amped Radio. Welcome, one and all, to the one and only radio show that is live, streaming live right here on Facebook and YouTube. And uh, we're here to talk to you about many different things to help improve your situation, help improve your ministry. Uh, Today's topic, we're talking about social media and how to conquer it. So uh, make sure to stay tuned. We got some tactical stuff to be talking about today. And, uh, you know, you're going to enjoy that. So stay tuned because you're in the mix right now with Amateur Radio. We got some songs coming up and uh, we're going to be playing them just in a moment by Oweezy with a new song called Arise followed up by Keep It 100 by Brother War, a.k.a. Silas Clark. So make sure you stay tuned into that. Then we got songs after the message. But, uh, yeah, so as always, guys, episode 13, I'm S.A., your boy right here. Stay tuned. You were in the mix and we'll be right back right after this. Everybody got a story. Mine's is just different. Chip. Glory. Hallelujah. Let's go. Yeah. Yeah. It's time to wake them up, shut Arise from the ashes. Fall from a mound of dust. A line for the masses. Jesus by the sound of Trump. Wings of eagles mounting up. Herds of sheep surrounding up. Prince of demons bound them up. Up for peace and down to love. Look at these, they down to judge. Birds and bees sound the buzz. Last shall be first. From least the great, that's what he does. It's funny how they hate. That's just the crush that's puppy love with the king of God to date. And he's everything they said he was, so you ain't gotta hate. Killing a dream like Freddy does, and you ain't gotta fake and play. Holy man, like Eddie does. I pray without ceasing. Intercede and steady cuz. Took a beating and yet he loves. Never high minded or heady dog. Razor sharp, two edge. Cut like a machete does. I'm praising them, but you don't. Winding like a new. Disrespectful walk around on holy ground with shoes on yeah. Sit in the seat and you scorn Run with a click that you form No holy ghost you need war No hold me close these dudes talk Fast and I pray for them Lay prostrate for some days for them Forecast of the days storm Nights is cold, days long Moving up from the south, there's a cold front So stay warm, a warrior don't stay calm And swore to steady and stay drunk And assure that, stay firm Best dressed in front of people The reason why I hate prom You don't see me in way gone Somebody throw away from Old me, late home That means to cease Rest in peace, they love their peeps So they mourn, cause they don't know who they talk They say you only live once Yeah, that's a lie, cause I've been reborn My faith against this leap on My praise against this beat song Turn it up This is not your ordinary radio What you got? 
All right. You're listening to Ant Radio. Ooh, where the party Brought at? to you by D2S Records. We got you in the mix. You can chase the cat, you can chase the green, you can make it snow like a blizzard on the fiends, but I keep it 100, gotta keep it 100, guess I keep it 100, gotta keep it 100. You can chase the cat, you can chase the green, you can make it snow like a blizzard on the fiends, but I keep it 100, gotta keep it 100, guess I keep it 100, gotta keep it 100. This prison pipeline is a trap, you all up in this game, but you don't really know the half. Only artists, they promote, just keep on mumbling and rap. The elite love to keep you ignorant while they laugh. <laughs> Most high, many made you to be great, but this wickedness in this world wanna make you feel like there's no escape. But regardless of the dirt or how low you have been, man, I wanna let you know it's time to make amends. But don't get caught up in opinions or your reputation on the street because you know the streets are full of fake friends. Yeah. Some of them are plotting and they scheming and they wishing you would fall because they jealous of the way you fall. But real homies, they get so few and far between. And if you change your ways, you see what I mean. Be a man, take a stand, be your Man, it's time to change things. You can chase the cat, you can chase the green. You can make it snow like a blizzard on the fiends, but I keep it 100. Gotta keep it 100, guess I keep it 100. Gotta keep it 100. You can chase the cat, you can chase the green. You can make it snow like a blizzard on the fiends, but I keep it 100. Gotta keep it 100, guess I keep it 100. Gotta keep it 100. Stop drinking all the Kool-Aid. Think for yourself, better yet, turn a new page. I understand, yeah. I know it's heartbreaking when you feel like ain't nobody checking. That was Brother War, a.k.a. Silas Clark, with Keep It 100. Before that was OEZ with Arise. Uh, so these two artists have been featured on the uh, show before. However, uh, these are new tracks submitted to us. So... Once again, if you are an artist, and it doesn't matter if you are a rapper or a singer, I mean, even if you do country music, you know, it's not really my favorite genre, but, uh, you know, I'm a, I'm an old NYC boy, uh, just never really been into that, but I respect it, I respect it. My, my wife, my wife's family, they love country music and all that stuff, so <laughs> it doesn't matter. We show love to you all. So if you are an artist, if you do music of any kind, as long as it's Christian or positive, clean no cussing all that good stuff you know family friendly uh you can submit it to us go to amtradiolive.com and you can submit it there on the form or you can just submit it via uh email if you want to submit them as attachments you can go to uh well you can email amtradio at death to self records.com that's death the number two self records.com and we'll get your songs uh on, feature on the show as you know we uh we go live on facebook and um facebook and youtube but you can catch the replays the replays are always posted on spotify uh itunes apple Podcasts, google play stitcher all of that good stuff we got you covered we're here to stay and once again episode 13 i'm just going nuts because we've had the show several times um we've tried doing amp radio at least three different times in the past 15 years that we've been a record label and we've gone pretty decent but we i don't think we've ever gone this far maybe we have i don't remember but this is clearly new for us because we're consistent we're not slowing down may have had a hiccup here or there but you know what god is good and we're reaching people and furthermore this has a purpose a point so again for the new listeners out there if you don't know what the point is Basically, what we're taking Amps Radio for is a platform to show people that are in ministry, show people that are doing music to have better improve. You know, this is just a forum, and that's why we encourage discussion. Uh, we're going to have our first real, our first interview on Amps Radio in a couple weeks. Um, and so be ready for that because we're going to try to make it a regular thing. We're going to try to have uh, interviews as part of a regular part of the show. And, uh, you know, we just want to show you guys that, you know, there are people out there with a voice. And if you're one of those people trying to get out there, well, here's a chance. Here's a way that you can relate and find the right resources for you to help you improve and better your situation so that you can grow in your ministry and in your music career. Does that make sense? I hope it does. So today's te theme team huh today's theme man like daffy duck over here today's theme 
Today's topic is how to conquer social media in your career in 2019. Now, one thing that I think all of you can agree on is that things are constantly changing, right? Things are constantly changing. What worked before may not necessarily work now, which is both great, but also frustrating to a degree because I know that I'll take a lot of time, I'll invest a lot of time learning something. And by the time I feel as though I can actively apply it, all of a sudden there's something new and what I've learned is, you know, pretty much moot. It's null and void, it's outdated. Now I gotta learn something else. Well, I'm not a quick learner, so it's gonna take me a while to learn that additional thing. But once I learn that, then there's supplementary stuff that I gotta learn because the game changes quite often. So, <clears throat> social media. Uh, obviously, social media is a long-term part of your, your planning, but just look at maybe 15 years ago, 10 to 15 years ago, maybe even 20 years ago, social media was not even a thing, right? And where did social media essentially come from? Well, they, it took on many forms in the late 90s, early 2000s, but one of the ones that we, if you were there for the beginning, most likely knew about and this is showing my age here, is MySpace. MySpace was essentially the king of social media, right? Um, and now we know that that kingdom has then since fallen. And now we got Facebook, we got Twitter, we got all these other ones. Uh, and even for many people, many people suggest that Facebook is usually meant for parents and uh, grandparents, <laughs> old folks. I don't, I don't know if I get that, but I was watching some videos and um, these videos, they were just kind of like the man on the street type deal where they're just interviewing people from the streets. And a lot of them were responding, you know, how do you, well, a lot of them were asking the people on the streets, how do you get your news? How do you get your information? And what surprised me is that the response for many of them were, was Instagram. They didn't say anything else. So the, the common response was Instagram. and. I've had people tell me how important Instagram is, but to me, Instagram is a photo platform, right? It's for graphics. I mean, I know how to use it, but <clears throat> I see Instagram as just a place where you can, you know, have your own photo gallery. So to receive information from Instagram as your primary source, that's where I'm showing my date. That's where it's like, okay, this is a new form of media that I have not fully optimized yet because I misunderstood it. I thought it was something else and clearly it's being used in a different way. So for anyone who doesn't know anyone, if you're not utilizing Instagram to a great degree, then I highly suggest learn how to do it because I'm going to. I'm gonna figure out how to use Instagram and uh, I suggest you do the same thing because times change and if you want to stay relevant, you have to know how to use these platforms. So there's a few things that we're going to talk about today regarding how to conquer social media in 2019. Again, just indicating that, you know, tactics nowadays are different and they're new and they may not have, you know, they may not be the same that you knew growing up or you knew a few years ago. Um, so you're probably going to need your... You could probably need to take out your notes, you know, take out a pen and a pad, uh, or just write this down on your tablet, phone, whatever you got, because this is stuff that you can apply to your ministry and your career, all right? So, social media. Um, when it comes to utilizing social media, what is the purpose? What is the mentality behind it? We've talked about this in previous episodes, but let's get a little bit, a little further into it. <clears throat> First of all, if you have any comments, any thoughts on that, you can always hit us up. We are live in the chat here. If you can find us on Facebook or YouTube, just go ahead and type any thoughts and, and I'll be happy to discuss them here. Uh, if not, just shoot me a, a message on email and I'd be happy to address it on a future episode. So when it comes to social media, what is the intention? What is the thought behind it? Well, for anyone who doesn't know, social media was used, was created as a way to, first of all, just be able to connect with people. This is really meant to be more of a personal thing, you know, between friends and family. However, social media has grown to a point where um, it's become this 
huge, vast community that goes beyond friends and family. This is about connecting with people you don't know and connecting with people that you look up to, people that you love, people that you truly, you know, like celebrities, any of those kind of people. Um, and so, uh, what was I going to say? Let me just go ahead and switch this real quick. All right. So, uh, when it comes to, you know, like for instance, celebrities and people that you look up to, they're now taking part of it because they can, uh, reach you in an intimate way. Back in the day, there was always like this invisible wall. You know, you never really felt like you knew your favorite music artists beyond what they put in their their CDs. But in these this day and age, well, now you can follow them on Twitter. Now you can follow them on Facebook. Now you can follow them on all of these social media platforms and you get to learn things about them that you never could have outside of their music. Like for instance, I don't know, just random, I'll just say Jay-Z. For instance, Jay-Z, you probably didn't know how he felt about, I don't know, cats. <laughs> Maybe he's a huge cat lover, I don't know. But if you happen to be a cat lover and you love and appreciate anyone who is also a cat lover and you happen to be a fan of Jay-Z and you go on his Twitter and you find out he's posting about cats, well, now you feel more connected to him than you, than you did before. Now you seem like, you feel like you know him in a certain way. So what it does is social media creates uh, a connection. It, it kind of bridges the gap. It creates this, you know, transparency that otherwise you never would have had if not for these social media platforms. So it's a great way to build your audience and a great way to connect to them. And that's why it's important to utilize them not only on a fairly regular basis, not only not once in a while, but very, very regular in a very, in a very consistent basis. Um, because the more consistent you are, the moment, momentum you'll build and that'll help you to increase your fan base. So, Obviously, having a career, having a music ministry is a full-time thing in and of itself because not only are you trying to create music that inspires you and can inspire others, not only are you trying to book venues so that you can perform and speak, <clears throat> not only are you creating a merchandise that you can sell and make money from, but in addition, you also have to be readily available for this new budding fan base that you're trying to create. Um, if you're not, <clears throat> then you can lose potential of creating that crowd. So obviously there's um, some stipulation there and you know it could be a kind of task, kind of a big deal. You know, it's, it could be a little grueling, a little, a little just daunting for people who are not really familiar, who are not fully knowledgeable about social media. But the important thing is understanding that you need to use these platforms and you need to be consistent because if you're not utilizing these platforms, then yeah, of course you can grow as a as an artist, as a minister, but it's gonna take significantly amount, significantly longer because this is the standard that people are now playing to. And if you're not following the standard, then you can never truly be considered in the same avenue as all these other artists because all these other ones do have these social media platforms and you're just another face in the crowd so it's important that we utilize them um however not all is lost we're going to talk about the top five uh social media platforms and for anyone watching on the live stream here i do apologize i've been fighting off what seems to be a bit of a cold so I've been downing vitamin C tablets and um, what do you call these elderberry tablets. If you're watching on the live stream, you can see what I have here, the elderberry tablets. I'm going to take one right now. And I've been doing better, but uh, also a little congested. So I do apologize for anyone watching me blow my nose like I'm about to do right now. So excuse me. I bet that was awesome, wasn't it? <laughs> uh, well, I'm still human. And uh, it's nice for you to know that your boy is still human. All right, so 
the top five social media platforms that you should be utilizing right now in 2019. They are as follows. Make sure you're writing this down. First up is Facebook. Obvious, comes at no surprise. The next few pretty much aren't surprises either. But following that is Twitter. Again, no surprise. In Instagram, YouTube, and Pinterest, believe it or not. Um, all right, so we're gonna talk about these things and you're probably thinking, well, in the music career, does Pinterest really matter to me? Because I always thought that Pinterest was more of, you know, just for fashionistas, for people in the beauty industry, for people that are just posting, you know, cute things that they're seeing, mostly for women, you know? Um, a lot of people think that that's what Pinterest is used for. And again, that was its original attention, but that's not what it's turning into. Kind of like Facebook. P Facebook was originally meant to be a forum for college students. It wasn't even meant for anyone outside of college or before college. It was strictly targeting college audiences, but look at what it's become. Pinterest originally was meant for fashionistas, but look what it's becoming. Pinterest is actually growing really fast, and um, it's becoming a huge platform for marketing yourself. So I highly recommend, I mean, I, I own a Pinterest account, and I was fairly, fairly regular on it. Uh, I've fallen off, but Pinterest is growing, and uh, it's a great place to market. Like I said, it's also, I, I believe that they do advertisements, so it's a good, it's a good way to target people. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. Uh, so yeah, that actually comes as a surprise to some people, um, not so much for me because again, I've used it in the past, but another one might be to some is YouTube. You might not even look at YouTube as a social media platform, you just look at it as a video hosting platform. But let me tell you, YouTube is owned by Google. And if you want anything to be found, if you want, to, if you want anything of yours to be ranked and found you want to favor anything that comes from Google. <coughs> and so um, YouTube has a lot of social media aspects to it. For one, being the comment section. Having a comment section is one of the biggest ways that people can connect with other people. One thing I would wanna challenge you to do in order for you to build your fan base through YouTube is first of all, obviously create your own channel, uh, post some content on there but go to other people within your niche. So if you are like, for instance, I'm a rapper, go to other rappers, YouTube accounts, look at their videos, comment. If you see other people, you know, commenting on that video, reply to them, reach out to them. There's that social media aspect involved. You can add friends, well, subscribe to them. Um, you can get receive notifications from them. So, it may not be as robust as something like Facebook, but it is a social media platform and it is owned, well, it was bought out, but it is owned by one of the biggest corporations in the world, Google. So um, definitely, and also another thing is, in terms of marketing, video marketing is greatly higher in terms of conversions to images and text. So. Obviously, you want to have videos. And uh, just a little tip, if you're intimidated by thinking that you can only post a certain quality, well, I need to get the right camera, I need to get the right editing software, don't let that hinder you. Because many people, including myself, has put out really crappy videos and has seen tons of views and conversions. I'm living proof of that. So um, make sure that you're utilizing YouTube. Now, again, Instagram, that falls under this category of the top five. Um, Instagram, like I said, I, I honestly thought that it was just a you know place to have your own photo gallery, but it seems to be a lot more. First of all, for those who don't know, you can post, um, you can post little video clips up there. I think the max is about 15 to 20, maybe even 30 seconds at this point. I think they've increased it, but I could be wrong. Um, so yeah, you can post video clips and if you are strategic enough, the kind of videos that you post, I mean, they could be little clips of your shows, um, you promoting whatever product you have, you can overlay text on it. There's also third party apps that you can create stuff and then post it to Instagram. 
So it can become a really nice place for you to market your brand. Um, also, there is a live uh, video feed aspect to it. Straight from your phone or tablet, you can uh, go live and you know promote yourself, promote whatever it is you're doing, or just have regular live video sessions to your audience. So yeah, there's a heavy uh, social aspect to it. Of course, there's comments. You can always comment, like, um, and reply to people. Um, the one thing I've always found a little daunting is that you can't share. So, you know, on Facebook, you can share content from other people, but on Instagram, you can't share anything. It stays within a closed community and you can't share anything from anyone's profiles onto your own. So I find it a little weird, but there's there's a, a genius to it as well. It keeps things pure, you know. So that that's pretty cool. Um, and of course, uh, of course, Twitter. We all know about that. It's actually where a lot of people do get their information from, and um, that's what I've always known it to be as. Twitter's the first one to start the whole hashtag movement. They even know what a hashtag was until Twitter came along. Uh, in my days, it was called the pound sign because that's what you dial on a phone. <laughs> uh, for those who remember the pound, what was it pound six star six nine when you're not on time? Uh, pound something something. I don't know. It's some kind of phone jingle that they had back in the '90s. But yeah, Twitter and then Facebook. Not much. Not much to say about that. We all know pretty much right away what Twitter is all about. I mean, Facebook is all about. So. Couple honorable, couple couple honorable mentions that did not make the top five list. We have Tumblr, and we have Reddit, which are huge in various uh, online communities. Um, yeah. So my recommendation for you is to use at least the top five that I've mentioned here. Make sure if you don't have an account with all five of them, make sure you do. And don't just create the accounts, but fill out the profile. Okay. This is important. When you create a social media account, you're given access to your own profile. That allows you to fill out information, and obviously the more information you fill out, the beefier your profile becomes. Um, <clears throat> you can include keywords in it. And also, just about every social media within the profile settings gives you a chance to link to your website. The more places that your website is cited and linked to, the stronger of the SEO, the organic SEO, for those who don't know, that's search engine optimization that your website gains. So uh, make sure you're doing that. Now again, this all can become daunting for anyone who's never really utilized social media on a full term scale before. So I wanna give you a little bit of, a um, little bit of relief in that. There are tools. Now, if you have a little bit of spending cash, um, there are tools for you to utilize that can help you to alleviate some of this time. Now, there's only two ways that you can make things work. It's either you're going to utilize your time or you're going to utilize your money. Which is more important to you or which do you have access to right now? If you want to scale up quicker, then obviously you want to use your money to save on time. That time can be used for other things. So. In order to post on social media, let's say you got, you know, you got yourself set up on all five of the top recommended platforms and you want to post every day or every other day. What you got to do is you got to utilize a bulk social media um, posting tool. One of the most popular ones that still exists to this day is called Hootsuite. H-O-O-T-S-U-I-T-E. And there's others out there. There's Zoho and, you know. Uh, several a twit tweet bot that's another one um, the one I use that's actually integrated with one of my websites is called next scripts next if I'm saying that right next scripts um, that's that's a plugin that I connected to one of my websites and it kind of does the same thing it posts to several social media platforms at once so when I make a post on my website it sends a post to Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, you know, you name it, all those platforms at one time. So I don't have to manually do it. That saves me on time. So um, 
definitely look into that. And oh, by the way, Next Scripts is actually from, I've been using it for so long. I don't even know if I pay for it, but I'm, I'm pretty sure that it's free. Um, but Hootsuite is, you know, they do give you a free trial, but you do have to pay for it. Tweetbot, same thing. So um, obviously you want to do some research, look into that, see what's right for you. But you also want to have a social media plan. You want to know how often you can post and, um, you know, what your posting schedule should look like. My recommendation, if you're just starting out, post every day. If you could post more than one times a day, do that. So, again, that's a little intimidating, isn't it? Well, if you look at it this way, this may actually be able to help you. What you can do is you can um, spend like a Saturday, give up one Saturday, and for a few hours, for four or five hours, plan every post that's gonna go out for the next 30 days. Every day consist consistently, and make sure you post, like let's say two, at minimum, two posts every single day. Make sure you got all your social media platforms connected to them. So that way, when you initiate this campaign, you got two posts every single day for 30 days going out to Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, so on and so forth. And when you've done that, you don't have to sit there and think of new content to post every single day on your social media platforms. What you do have to keep in mind though, is as this content is going out, um, maybe not at first, but the momentum will start to build. So that means that people will start to take notice. And as they take notice, they may start engaging with you. So if you're doing this and people start to comment, they start to like and share, they start to send you private messages, you have to be ready for all of that. You have to engage with them back because if people are commenting and you don't respond, they're not gonna comment anymore. Again, this is, social media is all about building transparency. And if they feel like they can connect with you, then you got a fan for life. So if you just let them comment and then just not, not even pay attention to it, you're wasting your time and whatever money you're putting into this uh, auto social media platform poster thing. So it, 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 it takes a lot of the guesswork out because you don't have to think of all the content on a day-to-day -day basis, just you know, take a Saturday to do it. But at this point, now you have to, and I consider this the fun part, is just engage with your audience on all five platforms. Again, this is a full, you know, full-time business thing. Now, if you really have money, you can just hire someone to respond for you. And I've actually seen a couple of tools that they do kind of like this AI thing. So they'll post, you know, they'll reply to posts, they'll reply to private messages on your behalf, but it's completely artificial. A little creepy, but if you're not scared of, um, of the Terminator series, then maybe this isn't such a bad idea for you. <laughs> Skynet, can't let it happen. Um, <laughs> but you know, <clears throat> that is a reality out there and you can definitely look into that. Um, and it can actually help elevate some of that stuff from you so that you can focus the rest of your time to engaging and to putting out more amazing music. So um, <clears throat> the last thing I wanna talk about, and then we're actually gonna uh, end it off here, is you need to have a HubSpot. Now, I'm not talking about HubSpot, the website. I'm saying the HubSpot as in your hub, as in what represents you as a whole. And that's why you need to have a website. Um, like I said earlier, I use Next Scripts that's connected to one of my websites. My website is utilizing WordPress as the content management system. So if you have all these social media accounts, great. But if you don't have a website, <clears throat> you're almost all there. But basically, these social media websites are supposed to point people back to this HubSpot, back to this central hub. That's why they allow you to post a link to your website on the, on the profiles of every social media website. Within each social media platform, excuse me, you have the chance to do that. So 
that's why I mean it's encouraging it's basically telling you and, and, and expecting for you to have a website so if you don't have one you need to get one for one it's digital real estate that's that's for real it's digital real estate and um, it's basically it's you taking your part of the digital space of the digital world and saying I own this I reserve this you know it's like you having a home right so this is where you can promote the heck out of yourself it's all yours it's all of you and um, you can market them in many different ways you can add them to an email list you can um, you know sell your merch your t-shirts all that good stuff in in ways that you couldn't from a social media website I mean social media platform you can still do it there but again this is where the true fans congregate so make sure you're utilizing a website and all that together is going to build an incredible campaign for you. So, hope that makes sense. All right, well, uh, I hope you appreciate that. Today we were talking about how to conquer social media in your career in 2019. And uh, if you're not yet, I will challenge you. I challenge you to subscribe to our radio show. <clears throat> you can go to AmpRadioLive.com and uh, you know follow us on all the platforms from Spotify to Apple Podcasts, so on and so forth. You can subscribe there. Or you can subscribe to us on Facebook. Just look at D2S Records, um, D2S Records, and that's where you'll find us. Or on YouTube. Go to YouTube and look for Death to Self Records. That's Death the number two self records. And you'll find us there. Subscribe there. And as always, if you are an artist, submit your tracks on amtradiolive.com or amtradio at death to self records.com. And uh, yeah, we'd just love to hear from you guys. So. Thanks so much for, for watching us live, and um, if you're watching us on the replay, thank you for listening, and I truly appreciate you guys. All right, we got new songs here. We got Glow by Tay Collier, followed by Deliverance by Blaze Torch. You are once again in the mix, and we will see you guys next week. It's your boy, S.A. Much love. God bless. I will see y'all on episode 14. Take care. Who made you that way? Who? Who made yourself talk like, like this? this? I think my self talk need a twist. Cause emotions been on cruise ship and I get seasick. Uh. So I don't need negative energy you can keep. Or seasick. I think the ladder is better. Feel like the ladder is heavy. Trying to move up to new level, but sadness be keeping me leveled. I feel like I should know better. Joy can only settle if you let it. Uh, I'm a bit awkward. Scratch that hashtag. I'm a bit awesome. Help me to see me as you see me. I want that joy we see on TV. They make it look easy. Strength and the joy of the Lord. Peace at the sound of his voice. Got you but praying for more. Got you but praying for more. Help me so I won't just keep giving up on my energy. To every issue life presented me Help me be happy with you Because you really friended me uh. Don't need nobody else Just you Wanna know joy for myself It's true I gotta be happy with you yeah. I need you and no one else Cause I can't depend on no one else Told me that I am perfect, Flawless. perfect just the way I am. Yeah. No need to put my trust in man, but that's what I did. Didn't understand how this would affect me. Then follow his friend. I try to be happy, but, but I never can. I think I'll start over. Gotta try again. Oh, Cause yeah. All the hurt from my past Had me feeling like the love of God couldn't last What he calls his treasure was once treated like trash Was headed to destruction right until my life flashed Right in front of my eyes Like how many times did I cry Looking at the sky wondering God Why did I allow self-hate to lead me to the wrong God Now I'm on my knees feeling God Change me I no longer want to be the same me Change me God Change me God Don't need nobody else Just you Wanna know joy for myself It's true I gotta be happy with you, yeah I need you and no one else Cause I can't depend on no one else I gotta 
gotta be happy with you, yeah I need you and no one else Cause I can't no depend on no one else No, no one else Turn it up. This is not your ordinary radio. Oh, what you no, got? No. All right. You're listening to Ant Radio. Ooh, where the party Brought at? Brought to you by D2S Records. We got you in the mix. pain to deep rooted things that you're buried in the ground that affect what you do even in your life now lies you believe voices that you hear veil over your eyes demons always near whisper sweet nothing's to corrupt you in the sea constricting your life even the air you breathe giving up your body because you can't find love living paranoid there's no one you trust smoking on the daily to bring your stress down down living as a slave when you should wear a crown crown always hide behind a mask what's your identity devil wanna rob you clean yeah he your enemy blinding you keeping you in a matrix mountains in your life are waiting for you to face it don't you stay defeated you got a champ inside throw your stones in anxiety finish off your pride say goodbye to depression reject rejection ignore double mindedness it's confession you were made to be whole have peace in your soul it's time to take back everything that he stole get your joy get your strength and your breath begin again just see what's next i command your blind eyes are open as you listen jesus is the one to feel all the pieces missing he will resurrect your dead man take your lame situation get your laser stand if you really want this you really gotta fight turn on the light switch turn darkness into light main demons get a light roaches and none on the road. He's the only way to escape the pain you feel. Not sex, not any, not popping any pills. Perfect remedies to satisfy for the day. Once they leave you, you feel the same way. Don't you want to change your side? You want to scream? Sometimes you wake up and wish it was a dream. The truth of the matter is based off a decision. I know you're thinking you don't want to be Christian. Probably think I'm trying to convert you to Christianity. Truth is, Christians are dealing with the same insanity. I'm just giving you a way out of the mess. Most of you are tired, I want to see you rest. In me arms, I don't want to love you the most. Let me introduce you to the Lord of hope. He's my armor, he's my father, he's my everything And if you let him in, I know he'll break every chain Every chain, every chain, 